Giuseppe? 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 Yes, you wanted to say something? Okay, uh, sorry for uh, this uh, uh, inconvenient uh, um, from uh, Zoom and YouTube Direct. And then uh, we can start again, unfortunately a little late, that we can start uh, again uh, with the talk of Professor Yamamoto, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, now, uh... Uh, maybe full screen better. Now I I hope you can. Oh, once again the voice. But anyway. Uh, uh, okay. Then our target is uh, this kind of transport regulation. Then we will consider two kinds of uh, problems: observability and quality, and the inverse quality. Where we call a boundary measure and initial measure. Then we want to determine p of x one coefficient. Spatially. Okay, then uh, we have several methods, possible methods. And the uh, uh, background uh, of the transport equation is conserved or uh, some more uh, elements or components of complex viscosity. Then our key is car dimension. Then, uh, of course, somebody wonders that uh, the method of the characteristics uh, must work, but uh, this is not the case. Namely, characteristic method is not so suitable for estim uh, deriving L2 estimate because characteristic is in principle point wise. And also, if uh, actually I, uh, I have a project for the fluid dynamics, not in compressible, compressible viscous fluid, then uh, that is a typical coupling system. So it's the transport equation and the parabolic system. Therefore, characteristic uh, is impossible to be applied. That's why I'm interested in current estimates. This is like a motivation. Then the, here is a very limited uh, difference, um, several differences. And the, also the, the uh, my talk is composed of, uh, I hope, uh, not so long to you, and <laughs> I hope uh, understandable to you, but anyway, uh, divided into two parts. The first part will consider some special case of H. The second is the main part. Second part is the main part. Namely, we will treat uh, general H of X. Okay, then uh, at first something like, uh, how to say, main casting. Already, as I said, that main equation is like a transport equation. Of, uh, sorry, of course, T is a time variable, of course. X is a special variable. Then H is a vector value of function suitably with some uh, smooth method. Then lower order. Huh? Always we, we consider cylindrical domain. Then omega is like that. Omega is cylindrical domain. This is the standing notation, namely D minus huh? one dimensional unit. Uh, yes, it is. Then nu, is the unit autonormal vector, always. No, no, itself always, please understand, no, is a unit autonomous vector to uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, boundary omega, okay? Later, I will introduce some other notation for interior normal derivative, but anyway, then, now, uh, the first main result is a current estimate for transport equation. Uh, in the special case of H, then, this is the main assumption in the part one. Namely, we will assume we can choose unit vector v, of course, from s d minus d minus uh, one, satisfying this scalar product with h always strictly positive uh, in the uh, cylindrical domain. This is our standing assumption in the part one. Roughly speaking, this condition means that rotational angle of h of x t over q is just the half. In the two dimensional case, uh, simply speaking, rotational angle must be smaller than pi. 
must not be uh, greater than five. Then this is a special case. This under this uh, uh, assumption for H X T, we can prove the Karam estimate very very uh, simple way. Then uh, also I did not explain what the Karam estimate is, but uh, you can see uh, in the uh, in the statement of theorem one. Then for the Karam estimate, uh, as usual, we must fix suitable weight function. Then in this case, weight function is like a quadratic in X and a linear in T. This is a bit special choice, but anyway, this can work. Then the center of spatial uh, dependency we will choose RB, where V is nothing but this V, like the center of the rotation of H. R is a fixed parameter, but uh, usually sufficient, yeah, quite large positive number. And the beta positive, but uh, in general or safe ways that sufficiently small. Then a sigma plus is also uh, not frequently appearing, but uh, standing notation, namely subboundary, outgoing subboundary, sigma plus. Then our current estimate is stated as follows. Uh, so sufficiently large S0, sorry, hey, you this story, I'm very sorry. We can choose constant C such that quality holds uniformly for all large S. This is the column estimate. Then uh, before going to the contents, the point is that estimate itself is here. Estimate must hold uniformly for all large S. This means that constant C is independent of S. Uh, then uh, the what the estimate, namely we can estimate with S U X zero squared with weighted uh, L two norm and in Q weighted uh, five. This is estimated by right hand side. This is the right hand side of the equation, transport equation, uh, the same uh, weight function, and we need boundary data. Out of going so boundary data and the final uh, value also needed, but the same weight. This is the contents uh, uh, of the transport, uh, the Kalim estimate for transport equation. Then, uh, once again, I would like to emphasize that uh, for provided that S is sufficiently large, in other words, S is greater than or equal to S0, S0 is a constant, then this estimate is satisfied uniformly for S. Okay, then the proof is very simple. <laughs> At most uh, one page, just by integration by parts. Namely, but the essential assumption is that this scalar product is positive. V is a constant vector. H, X, T, this, sorry, this depends ex ante. Then just for notational convenience, capital V is set by this. Then by more concrete form is X plus RV and the scalar product with H, like that. Then uh, since we assume V dot X, H is positive. Therefore, if R is sufficiently large, we can keep this is a positivity. We can keep the positivity. Of course, beta must be chosen very small. Then this is a, a preliminary step then. Uh, this is a very uh, common strategy for proving the column estimate. UES phi installed with a weight function, we denote W. Then everything should be can be estimated in terms of W, not U. U is the original function. Then we are we just said PW is like a install the parabolic uh, partial differential operator for installed function, namely W. Then this is uh, the direct calculation. Then we would like to make an estimation lower from from uh, uh, below. Then this is the same pw squared. Then a uh, weight function apparently disappears. Then uh, pw is like that. Then expansion. Expansion, then we discard squared term of this. Then only a squared, uh, this squared term, and a, a cross term. After that, we will uh, execute integration by part of this. That is a first order in X and T, that is a zero order. The thanks to the positivity of V, oh sorry. 
thanks to the positivity of V, uh, rather immediately we can uh, finish the proof. That's the proof of the color master, but uh, this depends on this positivity. Okay, then after that, uh, we have a so called transferring argument from color master to inverse problem. Originally, this was invented by Buchgamer Kuribano in 1981, but the, the, the recently uh, we have published some simplified arguments. Then we will use this. Then this is like that. Then the first is application to the getting observability inequality. Then capital T observation time length should be sufficiently large, uh, omega and B or something, H, yeah, sorry. Then here sigma explicitly is, is given, but it depends on this positive constant and omega itself. But anyway, T must be greater than this. Then we can uh, estimate uh, initial value L to normal initial value times uh, boundary. Of course, this uh, this is the transport equation hyperbolicity requires us that capital T must be sufficiently large. Then for the uniqueness or weaker stability, held stability, we need not whole boundary observation. Just outgoing sub boundary data is enough for guaranteeing some stability, some conditional stability. But anyway, then the next is application to inverse coefficient problem, namely, uh, we will fix, sorry, we will fix H. Then uh, we would like to determine the coefficient P of X. And the more or less, sorry, more or less same way, the same condition for capital T, depending on H then we can uh, get the global refugee stability between p minus two or something one. And the, uh, that is the data, our boundary data. And the, this is like a global refugee stability. Okay. Then uh, the uh, way is that follows. At first, already we have established the column estimate. Then we apply the uh, column estimate to inverse problem. Then maybe I will skip that. Then uh, just for your understanding, I will give the sketch of the proof of the observability inequality by our current estimate. But uh, the, the proof is very simple. Okay, this is our original transport equation. Then we must uh, prepare, this is elementary and well-known energy estimate, namely capital T L2 norm is estimated by initial value and boundary data. Uh, this is uh, too strong. Usually, this is not necessary. But uh, the only incoming sub-boundary data is uh, enough, but just for simplicity and whole boundary. Then we apply Kalema estimate to this. Then Kalema estimate uh, can estimate u over q and initial value already. Then we will skip the uh, estimation in Q, namely on the initial value, then uh, this is just a direct application of the current estimate. Initial value is already here, then uh, boundary data, but of course we must take care of uh, final value. But uh, here is very good because final value is weighted, capital T, but is phi. Phi XT is like a blah, 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 just the same, depend independent on, on uh, of t, but here minus beta t, capital T, minus beta capital T. Therefore, if capital T is sufficiently large, this supremum is negative. This is our assumption for capital T, say t um, mu zero. On the other hand, here the weight phi x zero, phi x zero is never negative. Therefore, this can produce immediately this. This is the same. For but here, minus exponent. Then after that, we can plug uh, the energy, usual energy estimate to here. Then, uh, here, this is uh, the result after plugging of the observability inequality. But here, as I said that, minus exponent. Then uh, since uh, S can be sufficiently large, Therefore, this term can be absorbed into the left-hand side. Then uh, the proof is finished. Therefore, uh, this is a, a somehow fundamental way by column estimates for proving the observability inequality. This is the same for hyperbolic equation and other types of 
equation if we have the current. Okay. And now a bit, uh, I must uh, hurry up, maybe 10 minutes or something, 15 minutes. But anyway, uh, let us consider general H of X. Then we don't assume this kind of condition. Then immediately we have the counter example for say uh, the uniqueness. Namely, uh, this is a unique disk into the dimensional. Then we, we consider H of X like that. Then we will consider a special solution, this. Then this solution always satisfies this, but the whole boundary data always zero. Therefore, we have no observability inequality, no uniqueness, say for boundary value problem. Because here, HX is in a sense uh, uh, rotating. Therefore, uh, for column estimates, implies the uniqueness. Therefore, for column estimate, we need some condition. What is the condition? Of course, there are several uh, possibilities, but I will propose one way. Then, uh, main idea is very simple, as I think naive. Namely, if rotation angle of H, whole omega is not so big, then everything is okay. But our, our case, not so small. Therefore, we can divide omega. Therefore, we will consider partition of omega into omega one to omega capital N, like that. Like that. Then uh, this is a bit, <laughs> sorry, this is maybe not so uh, elegant notation, but uh, okay, this is not so elegant notation, but this is the uh, unit normal vector directed from omega i to omega j. And gamma ij is interface uh, composed by uh, omega i and omega j. Of course, uh, the, if the measure is non zero. And this is like a very simplified figure. Omega i, omega j. Interface, this is a gamma ij. Then hx in this point direct, is directed. Then here, nu mu i and mu j is an outward unit normal vector from omega i. Then just uh, this is like a definition. Then we will uh, consider only, only a regular partition. Regular partition means that each uh, interface, this scalar product does not change the sign, namely positive almost everywhere or almost everywhere negative or almost everywhere zero. No other possibilities. This is a faster condition. Namely, on the interface, this scalar product does not change. Then each uh, smaller domain omega i, we can choose bi satisfying this scalar product is positive. And the, of course, uh, if H dot normal derivative changes the sign infinitely many times, we have no such partition. But uh, if the sign of this scalar product changes the sign uh, finite times, if necessary, we can uh, make a final partition to realize this kind of condition. But uh, so far, formally speaking, let us assume we uh, can find this kind of regular partition, satisfying this and this. Then some, okay, then strategy is very simple. After finding such regular partition, we will just repeat the proof for the Kalama estimate in the part one. But we must change uh, ROI, VI, respectively in omega i. Then, but then repeat the proof. But uh, the integration by parts in each omega i generates, of course, interface integral terms on the interface. Then also we must control uh, relevantly. Now, just as I said that, if this change is signed infinitely many times, uh, the following argument does not work. This should be a future work. Okay, anyway, then just look at the details of the integration by part. The important part is that the proof uh, contains this kind of uh, yeah, calculation. After uh, divide it into omega i, omega j, omega n, something like that, then we must take care. Then repeat the same calculation as the first theorem. Then after integration by parts, we must take care interface integral. 
like that. Where B i is corresponds to B, but uh, uh, coming from phi phi i. Then B j, of course, uh, coming from phi j. Then uh, uh, we can choose uh, by the assumption, second assumption of the uh, regular partition, we can choose R i B i satisfying this is strictly positive. Therefore, main issue is that, sorry, main issue is that we must satisfy interface condition. Namely, if this scalar product is negative, then here infimum of phi i must be larger than supremum of phi j. This comes from here. Namely, this uh, interface uh, terms must be positive, uh, sorry, it must be non-negative. Therefore, if this is negative, this is a positive. Therefore, we must keep this sign is positive. But we cannot control B i B j. Therefore, thanks to the large parameter S, if phi i is greater than phi j, then if necessary, we can choose a sufficiently large. We can control always this factor is positive. This means that interface condition. Then, of course, this is the same. Uh, uh, like uh, okay, phi i is like that. But this is uh, like that. Okay. Then uh, next issue is that can we find such R i and V i? It's a bit complicated because after, uh, depending on the partition of uh, omega, then one observation said that, uh, uh, right, let us assume this. Then if Ri is sufficiently large, okay, let us assume already we have chosen Rj and Vj. Then in that case, if we uh, choose Ri sufficiently large, uh, then interface condition is satisfied. This means that in this case, let us assume already Rj, Vj are chosen. How to choose Ri, Vi? Then just uh, physical, uh, intuitive speaking, this is like a, a the, okay, maybe the next is better. Okay, <laughs> just a simple example. Omega is like that. Then omega can be divided into four parts. Omega one, omega two, omega three, omega four. Of course, every part, uh, the a, a, h the angle is not so big. Then here we assume that here alongside this interface, scalar product is negative. Here is scalar product is positive, positive, positive. Then this means that uh, say omega one. Here, this means that incoming. Incoming uh, interface because h dot outward normal vector from omega one is negative. This means that incoming. Therefore, we will put this kind of uh, arrow. Omega two is with omega three. That is outcoming. Then also here is outcoming from omega three. Outcoming. Here is outcoming. Then omega four and omega one is this direction. Then just to put the, the height. Omega two is original uh, like a fontaine, yeah, Fontana. Then going down the water, omega three, omega four, omega one. This is one way. This, this is just a very uh, intuitive uh, interpretation. On, on the other hand, also omega two to omega one directly. This is like a flow according to the the height. Therefore, uh, roughly speaking, our way. Uh, for finding R i and V i is starting here, omega two. Then we will determine omega three, say phi three, weight function phi three, then phi four. Then after that, for determine phi four, phi two, we can determine phi one. Because always downstream omega i can control uh, upstream omega j. Then this is a good choice. Namely, the, uh, it's like a motto. We must start the choice for omega two from like a Fontana. Then uh, the intermediate, then it must be finished like a dead end. The dead end is not so good word, or something like that. Uh, this is a, a rough 
your strategy. Of course, then, okay, then these so called, the, oh, maybe this, I, maybe I, I should hurry up this. Okay, then, uh, roughly, uh, you can understand that we should start to determine our I, our weight function from spring or your yeah, Fontana point, Fontaine point, and it must be fi finished like a dead end or a terminus. Then, then uh, when such kind of strategy, say starting from Fontana to Terminus, strategy can work. Okay, for for that uh, very trivially, Fontana or Terminus must exist. Then this is just a talk, but this is very clear in Roma. In, in, Roma, in, five, in five minutes, in five, five minutes. minutes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, then, Thank you very much. then here, then here is uh, in some cases, uh, yeah, yeah, rather complicated, uh, yeah, configurations. Therefore, some uh, graphs, graph uh, consideration is necessary. Then maybe this is a bit, say uh, the contents are very very simple, but say the notation are very com it looks complicated. But okay, then uh, we will. Uh, classify arrows. Okay, maybe maybe that is simple. Okay, here maybe simple example is enough. Omega two is just outgoing. This is a, a first uh, kind. Second kind is only incoming. Other other node points uh, is like a yeah mixed incoming outgoing. Roughly speaking, three kinds. Therefore, here, this is uh, say uh, called uh, like a starting point or a Fontana. Here is like a term, yeah, terminus. And here, not Fontana, not the terminus. Let us classify all the nodes or all the subdomains into the three kinds. Of course, we must take care, no arrows, namely scalar product, uh, almost everywhere zero, but we can neglect that in integration by parts. Okay, therefore, the main point is that, okay, that is a formal definition the, of the terminus or not, but now I think uh, intuitively, intuitive understanding is enough. Then, now uh, formulation is as follows. Of course, trivially we can assume that, uh, okay, sorry. Then we will uh, uh, represent partition, like uh, by in terms of n graph, namely, uh, uh, at first, sorry, at first, omega i, let us just go for graphic consideration, omega i, graph theoretic consideration, omega i is like a node point, omega o i. Then, if uh, uh, the just uh, connected by one way path, say this is like that, from j to i, from o j to o i, if that is negative, this is a uh, 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 natural direction according to the flow uh, generated by H. Then we can compose directed n graph lambda, composed of node points, and the, that uh, defined uh, one way passes. Then uh, uh, that is a final main result uh, when the calculation can be proved. This is a fundamental assumption. If lambda have no closed loops, then we can choose all ri, vi satisfying uh, the current estimate. Then after that, the same way uh, from uh, for proving observability inequality and for the inverse problems. Then the, the argument is the same, and uh, also in this case, t dependent. Then, uh, the, then the, maybe I, I, I can speak just, uh, just two minutes. Then the proof is, uh, very simple. At first, we must find the ending point. Then we must find the terminus. Then uh, very simply, we can prove if lambda n directed graph has uh, has no closed loops, we must there exist at least one terminus. The proof is uh, very simple. Just you can imagine you are losing in in the forest then going uh, go, going around uh, going going because uh, no terminus one can infinitely many times endless continuing the way 
but the node point is uh, finite number. Therefore, even theory uh, such course must make uh, the cycle. Therefore, this is a very simple uh, property, but we assume this. Then definitely there exists terminus. Then the proof is the by the induction uh, with respect to the number of the nodal points. After n is two, then uh, directly we can classify all the cases. Then we can prove such uh, terminus or such strategy can work. Then, then the uh, final step is that uh, uh, this is the assumption in, uh, by the induction. More than capital N, N L graphs, uh, we can find such kind of strategy interface condition. Then we assume this, but uh, the uh, like that. But the gamma itself, uh, lambda itself has a uh, terminus. Therefore, here I say O N plus one. Then terminus means that only incoming. Then simply we will eliminate this. This is the graph is say lambda prime like that. Then lambda original graph lambda is composed of lambda prime and this kind of a part of the graph. But already lambda prime we can choose phi i till phi capital n. Then next is just we must choose phi n plus one, but phi, uh, phi n plus one only incoming way, uh, sorry, incoming direction. Therefore, this kind of uh, interface condition can be satisfied automatically if r n plus one is sufficiently large. Then the induction can complete the proof. That's why uh, if the uh, associated directed graph lambda has uh, no closed loops, we can prove the caramel estimate. Accordingly, we can prove the uh, observability inequality and inverse problems. Okay, then uh, just now uh, time is over, but uh, just one uh, uh, example. Say, uh, you finish the in uh, a minute to two minutes. Um... Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, I can finish rather okay. immediately. Then the then the just an uh, example two dimensional case. Uh, omega is a disk. Then in this, we will consider h of x like uh, uh, only uh, uh, theta dependent uh, vector field. Then, then we will consider uh, the special sector partition. Sector partition. Then, uh, very simple case. Say, if p theta equals theta plus c, just plus constant, then always close the rule. Therefore, uh, in general, we cannot expect the Karma estimate for such, such for such H of X. Then acceleration constant, namely P theta, alpha times theta, alpha is constant. Then uh, just uh, we can check this kind of scalar product. In the sector case, sector partition, we can calculate completely. Therefore, if the sign is the same, then close the rule. If sign changes, this breaks closed loops. Therefore, uh, we can prove uh, this kind of uh, characterization. If alpha is satisfied this, we can prove the current estimate. Alpha equal one, uh, the counter example said that no current estimate. Bit uh, delicate issue that intermediate case by our theorem, by uh, our theorem does not cover this case. But uh, previous work by us, Local column estimate can give some something like a uniqueness. Sorry, the time time is over. Therefore, I will like stop here and thank you very very much for your kind attention. That's thank all. You. I... Thank you very much, Professor Yamamoto, for the very nice um, conference. Uh, unfortunately, there are time uh, for question. Then. Uh, uh, now we have the coffee break for uh, the people at Globus Hotel in the cafeteria. Oh, uh, enjoy. <laughs> unfortunately, for